And good health this evening. Allergy season is uh, making it pretty difficult for those with asthma to deal with managing their symptoms. It is kind of confusing, too, on what works and what doesn't. Many patients don't realize that some common treatments are just actually masking symptoms. Dr. McGeorge is here to explain exactly how to manage asthma from allergies. That's right, Karen and Guy. You know, this weekend I saw a ton of asthma cases in the ER. Now, some were related to the very hot, then cool days we had, but Many were also people with known allergies that were just not well managed. And that's the key. Treating allergy related asthma should aim at the allergy and not necessarily the asthma. We're making progress, correct? Mm -hmm. Caitlin Davis dealt with allergies most of her life. It's dreadful. <laughs> um, I struggle with it every year. But Caitlin struggled with something more after a bad accident while horseback riding a few years ago. That kind of exacerbated some lung issues um, and started the whole asthma, asthma attack thing. And asthma paired with allergies is serious. Tightness in the chest, um, difficulty breathing, um, get really croupy type, type stuff. Dr. Christopher Tumpkin says 50% of his patients are at risk for asthmatic tendencies. They could get asthma if their allergies are really bad. They could get asthma if, they're, if they get a bad cold. They could get asthma if they um, are in the real cold air or really hot, humid air. And Tumpkin says asthmatics need to pay attention to their lung disease. You need to make sure that you talk to somebody who has an understanding about really how to treat asthma. It's more than just giving somebody a puffer and saying take this a few times a day. Um, that's really not treating the condition. It's, it's masking the symptoms, basically. Dr. Tumpkin says it's also important to calm the inflammation so the lungs become less irritable and spasmatic, allowing patients like Caitlin to breathe more easily. Or at least controlled so it's a dull roar instead of a raging fire. Now this is really part of the reason that it's important to know what triggers your allergies. Hopefully you can start treatment before they flare up during the season. Now in many cases that means inhaled steroids or some other medications to control the inflammation that's actually triggered by your allergies. It'll be nice to get the pollen out of the air, hopefully. Right, okay. but you know for everybody it's a little bit different so it's seasonal. Right now just happens to be a really bad pollen season. All right. Thanks Doc.